Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsland and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 29th of October. Spanish PM says eager to advance negotiations on EU, India free trade agreement. Policeman killed in attack on polio vaccination teams in Pakistan. And Bangladesh XPM Sheikh Hasina's Palace to become Revolution Museum. Oh. And now for all the details. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, before returning back to his country on Tuesday, said that Spain would be eager to further advance negotiations on a free trade agreement between India and the European Union. Addressing a gathering of business leaders and Indian government representatives in Mumbai, Sanchez said that it's essential to build up the position in the world economy for markets of both the countries to grow in size and diversity. A day after meeting PM Modi, Sanchez said Spain was eager on bolstering economic and business ties with India across strategic sectors including renewable energies and sustainable development, infrastructure and digitalization. India and Spain established diplomatic relations in 1956. Since then, both countries have engaged in high-level visits and dialogues, strengthening their political ties. They cooperate in international forums like the United Nations and the G20. We are open for business. We want more Indian companies in Spain. And we are eager for more Spanish companies to operate and expand in India. We want to support India's growth. Uh, particularly in three major strategic sectors, renewable energies and sustainable development, infrastructure and urban mobility, and digitalization. In the ongoing counter-offensive operation in India's Jammu and Kashmir on Tuesday, security forces neutralized three terrorists during an intense firefight in Akhnur region. In a statement, the Army's White Knight Corps said after round-the-clock surveillance throughout the night, an intense firefight unfolded in the morning, resulting in the elimination of three terrorists. The operation also saw a successful recovery of warlike stores, marking a critical step in maintaining security in the region, the statement added. The counter-offensive operation had begun after terrorists fired on Army convoy earlier on Monday, after which a cordon and search operation was launched. In the operation, an army canine, Phantom, was also killed in action. Pakistan has once again sought Russia's help for bid to become the member of BRICS as the two countries reaffirm their resolve to further strengthen bilateral ties. The development came during a meeting between President Asif Ali Zardari and the visiting parliamentary delegation led by Valentina Metvianko, the Speaker of the Russian Federation Council. Zardari highlighted the historical relationship between Pakistan and Russia, marked by mutual respect and a shared commitment to expanding bilateral cooperation in various fields. She also met PM Sheba Sharif during the visit. Pakistan had applied for BRICS membership last year in November. BRICS, the group of major emerging economies, is named after Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. The Russian speaker emphasized that her country accorded priority to its relationship with Pakistan and expressed confidence that her visit would further enhance bilateral cooperation. Meanwhile, at least one policeman was killed in Upper Uruguay in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa on Tuesday as unidentified gunmen attacked a health office where polio vaccination teams were gathered, reports have suggested. Two assailants were killed in the incident, Reuters reported, citing sources. In a similar incident in September, a polio worker and one policeman escorting him were shot dead in Bazaar tribal district. That attack was claimed by the Tehrik-e Taliban Pakistan. Previously, Islamist militant groups in the region bordering Afghanistan have claimed similar attacks on polio teams falsely portraying the inoculation campaigns as the Western conspiracy to sterilize children. Pakistan and Afghanistan are the only two countries in the world still struggling to eradicate polio. There are currently 41 active cases in Pakistan. Moving on. Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir is grappling with severe power cuts, a crisis worsened by deforestation and climate change. Residents are demanding urgent action from the government as the situation continues to deteriorate. A report. Residents of Pakistan-occupied Jammu and Kashmir are grappling with severe load shedding. 
a crisis exacerbated by the devastating impacts of deforestation and climate change in the region and the government's apparent neglect. Saad Hamid Kayani, a local resident, said, Felling of trees coupled with the lack of rainfall has led to a severe water crisis. The region's reliance on hydropower has made it particularly vulnerable to climate change. With dwindling water resources, the frequency and duration of load shedding has increased, causing immense hardship to the people. जंगलात का रकबा है जो जंगलात के वो कम होते जा रहे हैं दिन ब दिन नए पौधे लगाए नहीं जा रहे और पुराने जो है उनको बेदरे उनका कटाव भी जारी है और साथ में कुछ जो है पौधे वो आग लगाने की वजह से भी वो जल जाते हैं तो इस टाइम पे सबसे जो जरूरी काम है चूंकि हमारा कश्मीर में हाइड्रो पावर सिस्टम है और उसके साथ ही सारी बिजली बनती है तो उसके लिए तो पानी का होना वो अशद जरूरी है लेकिन पानी भी कम है और उस वजह से जो है ना बिजली की बहुत ज्यादा लोड शेडिंग है और लोड शेडिंग की वजह से हर बंदा परेशान है Kayani further pointed out the stark contrast between the government's apathy and neighboring India's proactive approach to renewable energy. Ke solar panel bhi koi cheez duniya mein hai jiske upar Bharat ne apna 2030 tak mukammal apni aadhi bijli shift karne ka andiya diya hai ki aadhi bijli jo hai wo solar panel se produce karega aur uske baad electric cars aur electric solar panels wali car hi jo hai wo mutaraf bhi karwayega. जबकि हमारी हुकूमतों को अभी तक इस तरफ कोई तोज्जो ही नहीं है उनको अभी तक अपनी जो सियासी मामला हैं उनमें ही लगे हुए हैं द पीपल ऑफ पी ओ जे के आर अर्जिंग द गवर्नमेंट टू टेक इमीडिएट एक्शन बट विदाउट अर्जेंट इंटरवेंशन द रीजन फ्यूचर रिमेन्स ब्लीक थ्रेटन बाय बोथ इनर्जी शॉर्टेजेस एंड इन्वायरमेंटल डिग्रेडेशन Sri Lankan cabinet spokesperson Vijay Dahirath on Tuesday refuted claims made on social media suggesting fresh loans were obtained by the Lankan government addressing the weekly media briefing Hirath said no new loan was procured by president Anurag Kumar Desanayake's administration and that the central bank of Sri Lanka follows standard procedures issuing new securities upon the maturity of existing ones He also refuted the claims that new currency notes amounting to 1 billion Lankan rupees were printed by the central bank He said if the money had been printed president Desanayake who also holds finance portfolio would have signed the notes but no such notes were signed by him and the residents of Bangladesh ousted prime minister Sheikh Hasina will be turned into a revolution museum Muhammad Yunus led interim government has announced The decision was taken following the visit by Yunus to the battered Gana Bhavan palace the former official residence of the prime minister The residents were stormed during the August 5 protests moments after Hasina left the bungalow for her safety from the mob. The museum should preserve memories of her misrule and the people's anger when they removed her from power. Yunus was quoted as saying by local media as saying. The museum will include a replica of the House of Mirrors Ainagar an alleged detention center operated during Hasina's regime. The South Asian nation was ruled by Sheikh Hasina for three straight terms before she was ousted during an uprising in August 2024. Following her ouster, her ARC4 and the country's only Nobel laureate was sworn in to lead an interim government. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India